Alright guys, so before we start learning anything new, before we start typing any more code, let's go ahead and figure out what all of this existing code is doing. So I already told you guys in the last tutorial, as soon as you run this project, right click and run, what's going to happen is it's first going to call your startup script right here. Now all this is doing is it's setting up your server, all the basic configuration settings for your server, it's telling it what port to listen to, in this case as you can see 3000 so that's why we need to go to this address for the home page and then after that after www.js is done what it does is it kicks off app.js so just like before app.js is the core foundation of your node.js project so essentially whenever a user comes to your website and makes a request app.js is going to look at that request and depending on the URL figure out how to handle that response appropriately so right now whenever we just set up this project we got two simple web pages we got the home page that's the one you're looking at right now and I also showed you guys you got this other page called users so let's figure out exactly the workflow of what happens whenever the user requests 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 this users page so what's going to happen is they say, hey, I want to go to users. So app.js says, okay, let me figure out how to handle that. So I'm going to scroll, and just like before, whenever we were learning about the connect framework, it's going to look at app, and this object is going to be responsible for determining exactly how to handle that request. So we see that we have two options right now, forward slash and forward slash users. This means home directory whenever they want to go to the home directory call this object routes whenever they want to go to the users directory which we did in this example is just gonna call the object users alright so what's users well if we scroll up here users and routes these are pretty much just other files so users is gonna require this middleware right here and let's look at what that is right here users and if they go to the index it's gonna call this little script so in the case of users what it did is it called this file and all this file does as you can see as a response it sends out respond with a resource and that's why we got that respond with a, a resource we can actually put something like um, I love pizza in here and now when you run this again the response would be I love pizza so again, what's happening, and this is pretty much how we're going to build new pages in the future. Whenever we want to make a new page, we have to let app, this object, know about it. For example, we'll say like app use profile or something, whatever page we're making. And then we have to make a new route, which is the brains behind it. And our brains are going to be a little bit more complex than this. But for right now, the response is just send them this response. And also typically what's gonna happen instead of just sending a response right here and we can actually see this in index Let me go back to index right here what the brains or your routes are gonna do is it's pretty much gonna render a view now these views are like I said the HTML pages so in this case it was rendering index which is your index EJS file so let me actually put this in left and right and you can see really clearly what's going on. So whenever the user requested the home page, what it did is it says, all right, where are the brains for my home page in routes.index? What do you want me to do here? Well, I just want you to render the home page. So I'm going to display this home page. And obviously it just says welcome to whatever the title is, welcome to express and if we just want to change this to Bucky is awesome then whenever you run that that is why the home page would render Bucky is awesome so that is pretty much the workflow app.js handles a request the brains and the views simple enough however in the next tutorial we still gotta cover what all of this other code means and it's actually really easy so uh yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you then